Welcome everyone to UTech Exam Prep. This will be the first video in a new series where we will get some questions to help you prepare for the AWS Certified Solution Architect Associate Exam. For every question that we're going to be looking at, I will try to explain the question and its answer to the best of my abilities, while still keeping each question around five minutes in length. By breaking the video down into three parts, it's the analysis stage, where we analyze the question and figure out what it's trying to ask. The knowledge stage, where we look at the key knowledge points of the question and make sure we understand what they mean. And finally, the solution stage, where we figure out what the final answer is. Keep in mind that you do not need any prior knowledge to watch this video. Now I'll stop wasting your time and get to the question. Now let's go to the first stage of our question, the analysis stage. So this is the question that we're going to be looking at today. But I will like let you pause the video to read it so we can save time on the video and talk about more important stuff. Are you done? Great. Well, this question might seem a bit overwhelming at first. Your first impression might be, wow, that's a lot of words I don't understand. And you should know that that feeling is very natural and you should not panic. Now I'm going to show you how to break down this question. And I promise it's a lot easier than it looks. First thing that you should do when you're hit with a question like this is to pick out the most important keywords that form the question. And once you understood uh, what those keywords mean in the context of the question, you'll find yourself in a much better place. Here you can see I've highlighted some words in yellow. And you guessed it, these are the keywords that define this question. The first part that we see highlighted in yellow is 500 gigabytes. In the context that 500 gigabytes of data is going to be collected from each site daily. From this key point, we can see that we're working with a lot of data. 500 gigabytes is a big number. Second part highlighted in yellow is high speed internet collection. Uh, connection, I mean, sorry. This key point puts into context of uh, the question tells us that we do not need to worry about internet connection problems. And we can use as much bandwidth as we want without breaking a sweat. That's great, great news. And that is going to be important when we figure out our final answer. The next thing we see highlighted in yellow is as quickly as possible in a single Amazon S3 bucket. This tells us the goal of the question, which is the most important thing to understand when looking at a long question like this. Now we know that the question wants us to find a solution that can aggregate data from all the global sites into a single Amazon S3 bucket and do it as fast as possible. The final thing highlighted in yellow is to minimize operational complexity. This is actually a secondary goal of this question, which means that the answer that we pick must first agree with the primary goal of the question. And if we un end up having multiple correct answers, we can use this secondary goal to chop down our choices. And this secondary goal basically means that the answer that we choose should not be very complex to operate. You made it through the analysis stage of the question. Great job. I certainly hope that you're keeping up this video. And if your answer is no, it's probably because you saw some vocabulary that you're not familiar with. But no need to worry, because we're going to go back and look at them in the knowledge uh, stage of the question. And the knowledge stage of the question, as you know already, is where we're going to briefly discuss the knowledge point with you so you can best better understand. The parts highlighted in orange are the key points of the uh, question, and uh, you'll have to understand them to fully understand the question. But because we're pressed for time, I can only go through each of them briefly, but I will leave sources in the description of the video so you can dig deeper into what they mean, though you don't need to for you to understand the question. The first highlighted point is S3 Bucket, which is a very scalable uh, object storage created by Amazon. More information on both S3 bucket and object storage in the description below. S3 transfer acceleration, and as the name applies, uh, accelerates your transfer speeds using various means that you can find in the description of the video. Multi-part uploads allow you to break down a single uh, upload into multiple parts to upload individually. So if one part fails, it won't affect the other parts. S3 cross-region uh, replication provides low latency access to data in different geological or geographical locations. 
AWS Snowball Edge Storage Optimized Device is useful, uh, used for very large scale data physical migration when you don't have a high enough bandwidth. Amazon EC2 instance is a customizable web service that provides secure, resizable compute capacity in the cloud. Amazon Elastic Block Store, or EBS, is a block storage that enables you to keep data persistently on a file system, even if you shut down your EC2 instance. There is a lot more to EBS that I can cover, so make sure that you check out the description of this video for more information on EBS and block storage. Finally, a snapshot is a saving of a system at a particular point in time. That is all the uh, knowledge points of this question. And if you have more uh, that you don't understand, make sure you check out the links I've posted in the description down below. Now that we know what the question is trying to tell us and what the question means, we can now enter the final phase of the video, the solution phase. Looking back at the question, we can eliminate choice D because it introduces way too much operational complexity to so jumble of steps. We can then eliminate choice C because Snowball needs at least seven days for the uh, device shipment, which delays the uploading way too much and therefore not following one of the main requirements of the question, which is speed. Lastly, we can eliminate B because choice B involves the middle layer because it has to first upload the data to an S3 bucket in the closest region, adding unnecessary operational complexity. This means A is our correct answer because it is the only answer left standing. This is the method of answering, a method of answering the question called the process of elimination. And it is very useful for answering multiple choice questions like this one. Thank you. This is the end of the question and also the end of the video. If you made it uh, this far into the video, first of all, thank you so much. Thank you to all. You probably enjoyed it and found it helpful. And if that's true, can you do me a huge favor and subscribe to the channel? It will really mean a lot to me. Thank you.